So this is our hotel room. It's kind of junky already. Our stuff's everywhere. I'm gonna show the beds real quick. Two beds. Um, the TV. <laughs> the TV comes out. It's able to move, that's cool. We don't have much of a view. Well, I mean, I guess. I hope it's clear. There's a new hotel being built across the street and it looks prettier than the one we're in. Got the sink, toilet. Obviously we've used the shower already, but it's a cute little glass shower. It's a cute little glass shower. Which way did we come? All the way down there, right? Yes. Yeah, there better be. I think that looks good. Yeah. It's, you know it can't be a hundred dollars for no meal. Nobody would be here. so far but we're trying to find the beach we try to sneak into a club <laughs> and they basically tell us to leave because we didn't have wristbands
on the first day the first full day that we were there we were able to go and check out the sunset as you probably saw just now and the crazy part is when we were leaving the beach there was a police officer that actually pulled me over and I think that they were targeting us because they knew that we were like travelers we weren't from Mexico obviously so I think that they actually do that down at the beach they surely do it's like they know who doesn't live there mm -hmm. and they're looking for tourists and as soon as she turned her car around there was the police officer immediately mm -hmm. so I think they were targeting us uh, in the car luckily we didn't end up getting a ticket even though he started off by saying you're getting a ticket because you were speeding and I said how fast was I going he said he didn't know but he said the speed limit was something it was something 20, crazy 20 yeah like kilometers. 20 yeah and I was like okay but number one I didn't see a sign and I literally just turned out from the beach so I was like nah and me and my mom we were argue, not arguing but we were telling him no we shouldn't get a ticket because that doesn't make sense we didn't even know and we literally just turned the corner and he stopped us and there were so many cars that were going way faster way than us. faster so I thought it wasn't fair so I, that's something you actually need to look out for if you go yeah they are gonna target you as a tourist exactly. know your rights don't hand over your driver's license so they get your information immediately because the car rental company even told us if you get a ticket you're paying for it before you leave exactly. this country it's like it's an organized mm -hmm. it's like deal. they know you probably are going to get a speeding ticket or something so we are at um ventura park One of my favorite parts of the trip was Ventura Park. Oh yes, awesome. So I would say, so this is what I would tell everybody. I went to the website for Ventura Park because I was looking for things to do in Mexico when we got, when we got there. And I noticed that there was a theme park there and I was like, okay, let me check it out. So when I went to the website, it said it was, I believe like $80 per person. So I was like, no, I don't want to go for that. So actually on the website, there's a little place that says chat on the bottom of the screen. And so it popped up and it said, do you need help with anything? And normally I ignore the little chat boxes on websites because I feel like those are just trying to sell me something. So this time I actually responded to it and I told her or the person that came up that I was looking for tickets. And I said, the price is a little bit too high for me. So she ended up asking me how many people were coming. I told her four people and uh, it was really just me and my mom. So I told her four people, but I'm only paying for two tickets. So she ended up sending me a link to a place where I could buy the two tickets for $40. So two tickets for $40. So I would say that if you're going and you want to go somewhere like that you should definitely do some research and then you shouldn't take the first price and when you get down there also don't take the first price because people will try to sell you because they know you're American if you're American and you're watching this um, or if you're even from somewhere else they'll know you're from somewhere else and they're gonna try to get money from you so everything is negotiable in mm -hmm. Cancun yeah don't take the first price mm -hmm. everything is negotiable yeah. they're probably giving you twice the price or five times the price mm -hmm. so keep working to get your price that even you want. even if it's on the website still try to negotiate at ventura park we had it was a bunch of water slides beautiful you, so fun you enjoyed, so much fun you enjoyed the water slides? i went down one slide long slide fun i screamed the whole way down it was so much fun I could have gone to that slide five times. It was that much fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so the, the slides were amazing. They have a wave pool. They had, a, what is it called? Zip line. Oh yeah. They had zip, zip line. line. You're going to see footage of us zip lining. Oh,
so we are at Mercado 28 and we're about to look at the um, shopping centers, what we can get. Uh, what is it called? Like souvenirs. souvenirs. Yeah, souvenir shops, basically. You wanna say hi? Hi, peeps. <laughs> hi, <laughs> I'm sorry. it's called Mercado 28 and it was gorgeous like when I say gorgeous I love all the colors and all the designs that they had in the stores um, the only thing is I'm one of those people I don't like it I don't like being pressured and I don't like I'm not used to that and it's a lot of pressure because it's literally like 20 people trying to pull you into their store and I was I was overwhelmed at first and then like my mom she she's she's okay with that my mom she she's dealt with things like that so she was okay she was able to just tell people like no or she would just say ignore them I was over there like sorry I'm coming sorry <laughs> but it's so hard so I we ended up going shopping I ended up getting myself a sombrero I love my sombrero, it's green. You can't probably tell because our camera, we're in like kind of bad lighting, I guess. But it's a green sombrero with silver on it and the Mexican flag colors. It's really pretty. I got a really beautiful, beautiful, um, what is it called? Like a, I wouldn't call it a rug, but like tapestry. tapestry. Yeah, it was gorgeous. It's big and blue and it has their we're gonna uh, frame it at some prince point. and princess weave. When I move out, I'm putting it in my house. But <laughs> um, I'm gonna put it up somewhere. But it's gorgeous, blue, and it's beautiful. And I, when I saw it, I said I have to have it, and they found it for me. But getting to the market, mm -hmm. there are so many things you can get as souvenirs, from the little tequila shot glasses to they accommodate Americans so well. Every team you think of is in Mexico in the form of a bag, in the form of some... Yeah, like cowboys. She got a cowboy and, bag. Yes. Mm -hmm. They embroider things that we would like. They've got shoes. There's leather mm -hmm. everywhere. Yes. If you like leather, go there. You'll get it in a purse. You'll get it in sandals. You'll get it some way. And I they'll a charm for my bracelet. Oh, I'm telling you, you'll find everything. And things are so colorful. When you go there, though, Apart from those American things that are going to get you, Mexican things are gorgeous. Their colors are beautiful. And the secret, please, have pesos when you go to Mexico. Yes. Get somewhere, exchange your money for the best value, walk around with pesos. Because once you say dollars, you're going to be scammed. If, especially if you don't understand the, the exchange rate. You're gonna be scared. That's why we kind of messed up a little bit because I said, because my mom's traveled all around the world, but I was like, no, I don't need pesos. I'll just use my debit card because I don't like taking out cash. I'm one of those people, I, I lose cash so fast and I, I just don't like carrying it around. But they charged us more. Like if something was 400 pesos, they charged us 460 pesos because they were using American dollars on my debit card rather than having pesos. They said if you have pesos in hand, it's this price. And I was like, dang. If you have dollars, oh, the price to exchange it is this plus this. Right. Don't get caught so, up in that. Yeah, make sure you have pesos. And then we ended up stuck somewhere in a parking lot because they were saying that we couldn't get out unless we had pesos to pay to get out. And I was like, I didn't even know there was like a gate. So we ended up kind of stuck, but then the lady was like, no, just go through. So we were blessed with that, but they were about to have us stuck in there because we didn't have pesos. And I was like, anybody exchanging for American dollars? We went to restaurants to find out, and they were like, no.
would like to say a special thank you to Spirit Airlines because you guys flew us there safely, there and back. Thank you so much to Gabe and her family, Gabe Babe TV, Gabe yes. and Chad, for hooking us up with these tickets. Me and my mom were able to have fun before this whole quarantine started. So I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, I'm just blessed to have gone to Cancun. That was my first time, our first time. Well, she says she's been to Mexico before. Yes, Mexico City. But <laughs> she, it was our first time in Cancun yes. together. So... I think that was a great trip. It was a great way to start off this quarantine. We have pictures and videos and memories to last a lifetime. So I really appreciate that. And I can't wait to go back. Thank you, baby, for choosing to go with your mama. Of course. She loves her mama. Yes, I do. And her mama loves her mama. I just want to say thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my video. I hope you're having a blessed day. I hope you're staying safe. I'm praying that your families are well. And yes, please like and subscribe if you can. Thank you.